How do you split test Facebook ads for optimal performance? We'll explore that question in this week's video blog. Let's do it. All right, great, great question this week from Adrian Layton. Here's what he asks. Hi, John. How would you suggest to best split up ad campaigns and split test? I know this is going to be different for each person, but an example of how you do it and how often you make changes would sure be useful. Thanks. Love this question, Adrian. I tell you, one of the biggest failures that advertisers make is that they fail to split test adequately. They stop at making one ad, they stop at making two ads. The thing is, you can't make too many ads when you split test. Create as many variations as you can to see what works and what doesn't. So here are the five things that I suggest that I actually do. Number one, it shouldn't surprise you, use Power Editor. Quite frankly, Power Editor shines when you split test because it's so much easier than with the self-serve ad tool to create many, many ads at once. The benefits go well beyond split testing and into features that aren't available within the self-serve ad tool. We're not gonna cover that today. If you need a tutorial, of course, check out my website. Okay, you're within Power Editor. First thing you need to do is create multiple campaigns. Many people fail to do this. They'll create one campaign and throw about 30 different ads within it. What ends up happening is that Facebook ends up focusing your budget on only a few of those ads and completely neglecting the vast majority of them. Now, this is Facebook optimizing those ads. However, I'd like to see those ads run a little bit longer so I can see whether or not they truly do work or not. So one way to force this to happen is to create multiple campaigns with fewer ads within them. Now keep in mind, every single campaign is going to be very, very similar. The only difference with these campaigns will be the copy and the imagery. So if you're doing sponsored stories, piece of cake because you can't control those. For everything else, create a separate campaign for each new copy variation, each new imagery variation. How many is that? Eh, it depends on what you're doing. When you do have the opportunity to edit copy and imagery, just make sure you create a few variations. Next up, save time by creating saved audiences. Once again, this is something you do with Empower Editor. If you haven't seen my tutorial on it, check it out. But essentially, this is so you don't have to go through and select the targeting and all the specific things every single time you create a new ad variation. So take some time, take a half hour, take, a, take an hour, create these saved audiences that you can use not just with this one campaign, but for future campaigns. Number four, the fun stuff. Create ad variations within each campaign. The first variation, placement. So you'll have options here of all placements, all desktop, all newsfeed, desktop newsfeed only, and mobile newsfeed only. Create these ad variations within each one of your campaigns. The truth is that the cost of performance could be significantly different depending on the placement. So you need to test this out. Next up, ad variations based on geography. For me personally, I have four main countries that I target. One of my ad variations will be targeting all those countries at once, and then I'll create ad variations targeting each one of those countries individually. What you'll find is you'll have various levels of success, various levels of cost associated with each one of those countries. You also want to split test based on user targeting. So gender, age, custom audiences, fans, non-fans, partner categories, friends of fans, precise interests, broad categories. These things along with geography are the types of things you can package within saved audiences to make your life a whole lot easier. Next split testing opportunity, bidding. So don't just go with Optimize CPM. Try Optimize CPM, CPM, CPC. Also try conversion specs so you can tell Facebook to optimize your ad based on specific actions. Sound like a lot? Oh yeah, it is. And look, you don't need to split test all of these things. These are the things I recommend. These are the things that I will split test, but I won't do all of these things for each one of my campaigns. Next up, final step, step number five, Measure what works and what doesn't. So go into your ad manager, check out each one of those campaigns, and find out which of your ads are most efficient and which are most expensive. And when I say that, I'm not talking about cost per click. I'm not talking about total you've spent. I'm talking about cost per desired action. This is the only thing that matters ultimately. You have to know what is that desired action, how much is it costing you to get that desired action. So that's it. I hope you found this helpful, Adrian. It's a fun topic, one I love to explore. I know it's overwhelming, but I give you all this information with hopes that you will experiment, find what works for you and what doesn't. 
Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, let's do awesome things. I'm out. Holy cow. That is, how many takes? How many takes? This is a Wednesday night, nearly midnight. I am crazy. Woohoo! All right, so here's the deal. Folks, I need an assistant. I need help. So I need help with someone who can edit my videos, someone who can edit my podcast, someone who can edit my blog posts, help me publish all of these things. What do you get for that? Eh. In, the, in the beginning, just a whole lot of fun working with me. So this is a bit of an experiment for me. I want to find the perfect person who works well with me. Quite frankly, I want the perfect team. We'll give it two weeks, we'll give it a month. If I determine at that point it's worthwhile, then we can look into whether or not this is a paid position. So if you're interested, get creative. Show me why you'd be the perfect person for this unpaid, awesome position, right? Send me a message, john at johnloomer.com, or maybe get creative, send me a message somewhere else, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you want. Just whatever you do, do awesome things. I'm out.